this week's Ninja-tastic episode of Ninja Slayer, Ninja Slayer finally gets to have his big bloody confrontation with the Dark Ninja. And he does it with Southern Pride, because this week's episode, he unleashes the full power of the Alabama Drop. That's right, my friends, this week's episode of Ninja Slayer was action-packed. If you wanted to see Ninja Slayer literally repeatedly punching Dark Ninja over and over, you're gonna get it in this week's episode. There is literally a scene where he punches him in the face with the same animation, they just change it from left to right angles, and they do this not once, not twice, not three times, but 11 times in a row! It's so ridiculous and over the top that it's just going to leave you laughing the entire time. Now, this week's episode was very simple. It was basically just Ninja Slayer fighting against Dark Ninja and trying to work with his brand new master, Dragon Gendozo, who makes a big return in this week's episode. It looks like he's going to recover from the anti-ninja virus. What's really interesting about this character, though, is that in this week's episode, spoiler alert, he is seemingly killed. Out of nowhere, he just sort of disappears, starts talking to Ninja Slayer like a freaking Jedi in his mind, and that's it. And I refuse to believe that Dragon Gendozo has been killed this early in the series, because there are a number of scenes in the beginning of the intro of him training with Ninja Slayer, fighting against that big massive bull, and even a few scenes which involve the character of Yukano, who also makes a return in this week's episode, and just like her previous appearance, it's pretty much all based around her big juggly boobies. Which, you know, I'm okay with that, but I really wish they would do more with the character aside from just making her eye candy like the rest of the other female characters in the show. Despite that, this week's episode was hilarious. I was expecting like a full-on badass big action sequence with a lot of crazy animation. It pretty much just does what Ninja Slayer does best, which is just play to its biggest strength, which is its humor. There is a lot of Aqua Teen Hunger Force style animation in this week's episode, and it really works to comedic effect. But Really, there is one thing that worked in this episode, and that was the atmosphere. I love the art style of this show. The actual looks of Dark Ninja and Ninja Slayer are so completely different from one another, and it's a great way to show, like, the yin-yang side of these characters. You know, you got a character like Dark Ninja, who's this, like, modernized, mechanized, cyber ninja, and then you got Ninja Slayer, who's sort of like the stereotypical view of what we always see ninjas as. And the actual fight that they're uh, having in the middle of this dark field at night with this moon, which actually has this, like, superimposed red skull on it, looks really freaking awesome and makes for a really memorable episode. But out of nowhere, like I said, it seems like Dragon Gendozo is killed. He even refers to himself as the Roshi Ninja. Whether this means this is just another alias for the character or maybe he actually is being possessed by a ninja known as the Roshi Ninja is sort of up in the air and it's very debatable at the moment. But I'd like to imagine that the character is going to make a return. He disappears, Dark Ninja leaves, and then we have, of course, Ninja Slayer himself, who does some amazing moves this week. Like, I love the whole bit with the Alabama drop, which seems to insinuate that apparently ninjas were at the Alamo. Apparently they were in the, the war for uh, Texas's independence, which I just think is a really funny thing when you think about it. And I love how the narrator actually talks to the viewer, kind of assuming maybe they're ninja, if they have ninja ability. They'll get a lot more out of the show because they'll be able to see all of these secret techniques. Otherwise, this week's episode was just hilarious. So watch the rundown on this week's episode of Ninja Slayer. Action-packed, really funny, and watching Ninja Slayer punch M Dark Ninja for like literally like two minutes straight. It's one of the funniest things that I've seen from the entire series. And again, just proves that this is a much better comedy than it is an action series. And in many ways, that's a shame. Like the minute this episode started, I'm like, oh man, this is going to be a Dark Ninja episode. We're going to get a lot of action out of it. And we did. We did get some action scenes. You know, lots of punches to the face, but really nothing too extravagant or crazy. This is probably something we're going to save a little more later towards the end of the series, you know, when we finally do get that real final battle between the Dark Ninja and between Ninja Slayer, because we still don't even know who Dark Ninja is. We don't know anything about his past, who he is, why he works for the Sokaya Syndicate. All we know is that he has an amazingly cool design, and he delivers some of the greatest lines that I've heard from the series. My, one of my favorite ones where he's saying that Ninja Slayer was literally stepping on the tiger's tail that is the Sokaya Syndicate. Really, really sharp and snappy writing. Uh, but really, just a funny episode, a nice confrontation between Dark Ninja and Ninja Slayer, lots of humor. Dragon Gendozo may or may not be dead, but because of the intro, I'm leaning more towards the fact that he is alive. I can't wait to see more of what him and Yukano are going to do. And this episode was also interesting because it's been a long time since we've actually seen the actual human face of Ninja Slayer. We see a lot of Fujikido this week, which is interesting. They really need to bring more of that human element out for us to care about him a little bit more. Otherwise, fantastic episode, lots of action, lots of humor, and lots of SAYONARA!
explosions. This is the episode for Ninja Slayer fans. So make sure to check it out. Lots of action, lots of laughs. Check it out, guys. So I like this episode. But what about you guys? Did you watch this week's episode of Ninja Slayer? What did you think of the battle between Ninja Slayer and Dark Ninja? And what do you hope to see from the rest of Ninja Slayer? Please tell me in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching my review. Make sure to like it, share it with all your friends, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure to also follow us on social media. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, Sayonara!